This week, state lawmakers are set to tackle Florida's property insurance crisis from sky-high premiums to frivolous lawsuits and insolvent companies. The Florida legislator is set to discuss all of it and hopefully find a solution. And CBS 12's Victoria DeCardin as she breaks down two bills that could potentially change that system and the impact it could have on you. Yeah, Luli, the future of insurance in Florida relies on two bills. That's House Bill 1A and Senate Bill 2A, both more than 100 pages long. Now, this is just one step closer to making Florida just that much more affordable. But while this is a step in the right direction, some say don't expect big changes straight out the gate. Um, our market is in crisis. Uh, it really is uh, at a, a level of catastrophe. Lawmakers this week are looking to slow down the insurance crisis. Insurance attorney Sharon James cautions Floridians to manage your expectations during this special session. No special gifts coming um, this uh, special session, but definitely an attempt to stabilize the market and decrease the amount of increases um, that we've been seeing. Lawmakers are looking to accomplish several big ticket items, including reducing litigation costs, using taxpayer dollars for additional reinsurance, speeding up claims, and get policies out of the state-backed Citizens Property Insurance Corporation. But for many, it's their only option. In Palm Beach County, more than 115,000 homes are insured through Citizens. Now, as a result of what's going on in our marketplace, it's no secret, we've talked about it uh, many times, Citizens just is uh, eclipsed about a million, 100,000 policies again. This after several private insurers either went insolvent or left the state. The Republican proposal would force policyholders with citizens insurance to pay for flood insurance by 2027 and require they move to private insurers if they offer a policy up to 20 percent more expensive than citizens. With this proposal, West Palm Beach avoid, Senator uh, Bobby Powell asked the question on is, everyone's mind. Will this lower premiums for policyholders? I think that the provisions that are in this bill are going to go a long way into stabilizing Florida's insurance marketplace. Sharon says while we are moving in the right direction, it may take some time to feel any relief, especially after Hurricanes Ian and Nicole. Help with that. It takes at least 18 months to see some relief from the changes in those laws. So um, fingers crossed we will see some reductions uh, sooner rather than later. And Citizens Insurance denied our request for an interview, but the CEO did put out a statement that says, quote, in part, that they are highly optimistic that should the bill pass in the proposed format, it would attract more capital to the market and eventually improve the reinsurance picture. The daughter of a missing woman is hoping to revive her mother's case after 25 years. Police say she went missing from West Palm Beach and a few tips have been called in. We heard from her daughter this afternoon who's hoping these new developments will shed light on her disappearance. As CBS 12's Lena Salzbank reports, the woman's case has been reassigned to a detective in the missing persons cold case unit. It's been 25 years and the family of Kiwana Homes is still looking for answers. That's why they drove all the way from Jacksonville to West Palm Beach to speak to detectives and ask the public for help. Sedaran Rowe was four years old when she last saw her mother, Kiwana. There are not words that the dictionary has given to the feeling that you feel when you don't have that. Everybody can try to compensate for it, but that's a hard knock. Kawana Holmes was reported missing by her mother on March 20th of 1997, but the family says more than a year had passed since the family had last seen her. Anna cared very much about her children and called her mother, who was raising the children, and frequently checked in. So it was after a period of time when uh, she stopped checking in that Shirley uh, became concerned. Holmes was transient, and according to the West Palm Beach Police Department, she was seen on Good Samaritan at Flagler, and after that, reportedly with company in the Liberty City section of Miami. So with those very few details, um, everything came up um, empty 
on the investigation side. And when we asked investigators what type of investigation was done over the last 25 years, they weren't able to give us a definitive answer. Now they told us there were rumors that Kiwana Holmes may have also encountered a serial killer. I know that my mother did not leave and come to West Palm Beach and not return to Jacksonville unless she couldn't. Police recorded Kiwana's last known activity on February 28th of 1996, but court records show Holmes was arrested just a few days after for prostitution and substance charges. The family says no matter what unfolds during this investigation, they just want closure and justice. I, w I am here standing as a woman because she was a mother who bore me here, and she did not vanish in thin air, and somebody knows something.